All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the channel and back for some more Destiny 2's huge news. So, we already discussed recently about the uh, tie-in promotions there for both Pop-Tarts and Rockstar. Well, the biggest piece of news has just came in, ladies and gentlemen, and this is uh, leaked information from Edge Magazine. We'll explain that shortly. So, according to the developer, it recently revealed that the, fourth, that the forthcoming science fiction shooter called Destiny 2 will eventually contain over, get this folks, over 80 different missions and PvE activities for players to enjoy. I'm going to repeat this number again folks because after seeing that number, it felt like I was just about ready to faint. 80 different missions and PvE activities. That is an absolute Wow. So again, the information came from coverage in the latest issue of Edge Magazine, which was found in issue article number 310. And of course, Bungie is declaring that each of the various missions and PvE activities in Destiny 2 will be substantial in length, challenge, story, and some rewards. Now, the developers said that, that there is just so much new content in the game that at one point in the development, they eventually realized that they eventually have more content than progression. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. And uh, it went on to continue here. Uh, it was also revealed here that players won't be able to take too much time during the Nightfall Strikes for Destiny 2. Now, in Destiny 1, it was eventually unlimited. But, once... I, th I think it was either... Oh, Strike Scoring. That That's when it came to play. S strike Scoring... Back in Destiny 1, I think that was during the Rise of Iron expansion back in 2016. Maybe it was the Dawning, I don't know. But, uh, but in Destiny 1, you had the, um, the bounty called Sunrise. And eventually all you had to do is complete the Nightfall within 30 minutes or less. If you're successful in completing that bounty, you would have a chance at, at the Year 3 Icebreaker. Well, in Destiny 2, it's a little bit different now because there will be a time limit here. So eventually, for example, if one strike is going to be like uh, no more than 13 minutes long, they have to complete it within hopefully 12.59 or less. Now, eventually for Guardians, they'll have to uh, come up with some some incredible strategies and try and complete it in a successful manner to earn a ton of loot. Now, now if you, if you dilly-dally too much and die completely, then you ain't going to get the loot within the time limit. So, be on point. Now, back to the latest issue of Ed Edge Magazine again. Benji also may have known that, that Destiny 2's open beta didn't contain the final version of how the energy weapons were supposed to work against the AI combatants with the elemental si uh, shields. Excuse me. Now, for the elemental shields here, there's Arc, Void, and Solar. So, let's say, for example, if there's a solar shielded centurion if you use a solar weapon on him you'll just kill him a, a lot faster than expected there arc and void may go down a little bit there but uh, but again once it officially releases those elemental shields will blow up once they're depleted it would also blast and damage any enemies who happen to be in this certain radius nearby now not only to mention that but uh, good news for players, though. Supers and grenades will recharge faster than what happened in the beta. So yeah, this uh, Destiny 2 campaign is already shipping up quite nicely here. It will offer much more uh, satisfying experience than its possessor. And of course, Bungie is already looking forward to finishing the base materials, as the studios have a lot of ideas in store when it comes to the end game content. So. Again, the big piece of news, there's over 80 new missions and PvE activities coming in Destiny 2, if, if this is rumored to be true. Um, Nightfall Strikes will now have a time limit. And uh, there you go. Uh, the supers and grenades are recharging. Boy, this piece of news is just getting better and better. By the way, I have checked a video earlier today. Um, there is a new exotic chess piece. I think you're going to get this right away. 
uh, for all three, but I'm not 100% certain about it. It will just be right away into the game, but then, but then, it's probably gonna go all the way back down to zero. Once, once uh, goal, well, pushes you off the ledge right there. Pretty sure you're gonna be going right into the European dead zone. Then you'll try and get some information from a few AIs and and uh, do your very best to level yourself back up again and your chance at uh, reclaiming the city will start after you're finished at the European Dead Zone. So that's all of this will happen after the homecoming mission will be over. And uh, other than that I think that's definitely going to do it. So there you go, that's the big piece of information that we have for today folks. Now don't forget Gamescom is only a week away, folks, and Bungie and Activision slash Destiny 2 will be there in Germany within a week from now. And I will keep you up to date on the latest Gamescom information when it comes to briefings, trailers, such and such. And thanks for your generous support as of late. We're at 493 subs, which means we're only 7 away from the milestone mark at 500 subs. If you want me to do this 500 sub special for the very first Destiny 2 video, all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button. It's definitely free. It definitely supports and grows the channel a lot more. And I would definitely say thank you very, very much for that. If you are indeed a subscriber, hit the notifications button by hitting that bell. Leave a like and a comment in the video section too, folks. And again, we're just over three weeks away until launch. Or the approximate time that we have left now is about 24 25 days to go so again count me in for the 80 missions folks i am so grinding well so grinding so grinding the game for sure so anyway that's it folks thank you again for watching and until next time thank you for watching this latest sd2 news video and i'll catch you guys next time for more